Hey there folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Cove and on today's episode we look at six bourbons that I believe are worth hunting for. Run the video. Alrighty then folks, before we get into today's episode, a big thank you to all the subscribers out there. I really do hope you're enjoying the content that we've been putting out lately. And if you're not a subscriber, consider helping a guy out and hitting that subscribe button. So on today's episode, we look at six bourbons that I believe are worth hunting for. So we're getting towards kind of like the business end of the year here, where it comes it's starting to come up to the holiday seasons and kind of like the big holiday seasons or the big holiday days of the year. So you might want to start looking into like gifts for Christmas when it comes to good bourbons, or maybe just a good bottle of dram for you to drink around these times. So some of the bottles on this list are rare because they're actually worth hunting for, so they're not going to be easy to find. Some are a little bit easier to find, but all in all, all the juice on this list is fantastic. So then let's start with bottle number six. So we'll do six down to one. So for bottle number six, I chose E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Obviously a difficult bottle to get a hold of, made by Buffalo Trace. It comes in, uh, obviously, because it's bottled in bond, 50% alcohol or 100 proof. It makes a fantastic gift whiskey because it's in like a really cool tube as well. And also, you're gonna be paying probably MSRP 40 to $50. If I didn't have one of these, or if it was my first time trying to get one, I would pay up to about 70. But for me now, I probably wouldn't pay above 50, $55. But definitely a good bottle of whiskey that's worth hunting for, and a very good present or a very good whiskey to drink over these forthcoming holiday periods. So that was bottle number six on the bourbons worth hunting for. So for bottle number five, kind of staying with Buffalo Trace a little bit here, uh, I chose John J. Bowman Single Barrel. I think that this is probably, possibly a little bit easier to find than the small batch. Again, depending on where you are in the nation. I know that places like New York, New Jersey, uh, possibly the Virginias as well. These are somewhat easy to find. When I was in New York, um, I was able to find these sitting on the shelves in a lot of numbers for about $50. Value for money, $50 for a single barrel John J. Bowman product is really good value for money. And this whiskey is just so approachable as well. I feel like if you haven't tried this, you will you will enjoy this whiskey. I feel like every bourbon lover will enjoy the whiskey that is in this bottle. I think it will make a really good gift as well. I think it has a cool story behind it as well that uh, the distillat comes and gets sent over from Buffalo Trace and then they redistill it and bottle it there in Virginia. Like I said, uh, easier to find on the East Coast. I'm not sure what the allocation kind of uh, vibe is for this out on the West Coast. I know here in Colorado it's kind of hit or miss, but definitely a bottle of whiskey worth hunting for. So bottle number four on this list that is going to be Russell's Reserve Private Barrel Selection Single Barrel. This single barrel is won by Total Wine and More. This is aged for about 10 years, Warehouse K Floor 3, coming in at 55% alcohol by volume. I believe I overpaid for this, paid about $85 for this from Total Wine. I think these usually sit in the range of about $65 at MSRP. I don't see too many of these, but generally when I do see them at MSRP, I will definitely pick these up. I think as a wild turkey kind of Russell's product, you're getting a really complete product here. Obviously, they're gonna, they, they might change from different single barrels to single barrels. So find a store that does good single barrels and someone you can rely on to pick one of these. And I think they can really be some hitters as well. In terms of value for money, you know, if you're able to get them for $65, $70, they're as good as value of money of anything really within that bracket, within that price bracket in Bourbon. This one, like I said, is aged for 10 years. So you get a 10 year single barrel product for about $65, $70. So if you're someone who's kind of been thinking or sitting on the fence about getting one of these, if you're able to pick one up for $65, $75, go ahead and pull the trigger on that because you won't be disappointed with the whiskey that is in this bottle. So that was Russell's Reserve Single Barrel Store Pick. And then coming in at number three on this list, Equally a whiskey that's probably a little bit easier to find. That is gonna be Blue Note Duke Joint Whiskey. This is the straight bourbon whiskey. This is obviously from the Blue Note Distillery. I believe this says that this is distilled in Kentucky. So it's not their own juice. It's not obviously Blue Note's own juice because I think they just, uh, I think they source everything. I'm, I'm not sure where in Kentucky it's from. If I had to take a guess, probably Bardstown, possibly Four Roses. 
but a lot of these single barrel store picks, is it a single barrel store picks? Yeah, hand selected single barrels. So a lot of these single barrel store picks, really great value for money. I paid about $45 for this. As I said, it was uncut, unfiltered, coming in at 58.8% alcohol or 117.6 proof. So you're getting an uncut, unfiltered barrel proof, single barrel whiskey from somewhere like Bardstown or Four Roses. Value for money, that's just fantastic, isn't it, for $45. This is the cheapest ball on this list here, and it's like punching up up to a probably like $70, $80. I think I would rather have this over maybe some of the bookers, which you pay like $100 for. So keep that in mind. I'm not sure how long they're gonna be doing these uh, these picks for. Like I remember like a couple of months ago, about six, seven months ago, they were everywhere. And I think they're starting to tail off a little bit now. So the Blue Note Duke Joint Whiskey is definitely a ball you should hunt for. Like I said, a couple of months ago, they were everywhere. Maybe now not so much, but it should be a, an easier ball for you to find them. So that was the Blue Note Duke Joint Whiskey. So coming in at ball number two on a bourbon that you should definitely go out there and hunt is going to be Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength. Again, this is somewhat of a theme here. Uh, I've chosen three single barrel store picks so far. I feel like you get a lot of value for money in store picks. And they only kind of do the barrel strength from Old Forester in the store pick. So you're going to have to get a store pick version of this. I paid about $79.99 for this, about $80 again. This is coming in, uh, in at 64.3% or 128 pr 0.6 proof. So uh, at the higher end of cast strength. Warehouse I, floor one. So they're fairly unique from which warehouse or what floors they come from. Again, as a single barrel product, the flavors and kind of like the, the, the palate and the profile of the whiskey is different from single barrel to single barrel. But I've never had a bad one of these. They're fantastic. They, they have so much sweetness on their nose there. Burnt brown sugar, caramelized, maybe a touch of banana as well there. But for value for money, again, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect value for money whiskey. And definitely one worth hunting for. Here in Colorado, you can usually get them a couple of times of the year, I will say. I've probably seen these about three or four times come up just by following like Facebook groups and stuff. And because it's a single barrel product as well, they usually drop like 100 to 150 at one time. So it gives us the consumer or the bourbon lover a really good opportunity to pick one of these up. So that was Old Forest, the barrel strength, single barrel pick. And then lastly, coming in at number one on this list, that is going to be the probably more rarest whiskey on this list, but of course, it's, you know, some of this whiskey has to be rare because it's worth hunting for. If, if, it, if you weren't able, or if it wasn't whiskey worth hunting for, then it wouldn't be on this list, right? So this is, sticking with Buffalo Trace, the third Buffalo Trace whiskey on this list, this is Stag Junior. I believe this is batch 15 here, and this is 65.55% alcohol or 131.1 proof. I believe I paid $59.99 for this. If you can find anything like Stag Jr., Weller Full Proof at MSRP, then you're on for a big winner, let's be honest. I think the secondary on these guys, I believe, like anywhere between like $200 and $500. Gets a little bit crazy there. But if you're able to hunt for one of these around this time of the year, which I believe that uh, I think there should be a, the newer drop should be coming anytime now. It should have already came there where they dropped the junior part from the ball. So it's kind of like a new batch one, I guess. Definitely worth hunting for. The juice in this is easily comparable to the regular George T. Stags. I haven't drunk much of the George T. Stags, like the adult George T. Stag bottle, but I believe that if you blinded like two of these Stag Juniors with two of the St uh, George T. Stags, any one of those four could win. So this is definitely a ball worth hunting for. It's again with those kind of like rich, dark kind of like chocolate and caramel notes. And then you definitely get like the Buffalo Trace like cherry in this, which is like there throughout the nose and the palate. This is a fantastic present for a bourbon lover out there. So if you're watching this video and you have a partner or a friend that you want to buy a great bottle of whiskey for, maybe a bottle of whiskey that you're willing to put a time and effort in to hunt down, look no further than this one. Obviously with distribution throughout the US, it's a little bit different to state. It's going to be a difficult bottle to find, but definitely one worth hunting for. And that was Stag Junior. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this list. 
person this is just more of a personal list from me to you these are some of the six whiskies that i feel are worth hunting for i could have put a bunch of other harder to find ones in here but i wanted to give you guys um, a broad scope but some of the whiskies that you might be seeing and you, you might be thinking about getting or putting the time in to hunt these down so that's all we have time for today folks i hope you keep on enjoy enjoying the content that we keep putting out as we drink through the world's whiskies one glass at a time cheers